Welcome to a new episode of The Naked Turner. My cousin just sent me some wood from the East Coast in Boston. My uncle did a lot of work on fiddles and such, so I've got some pieces of ebony, some viola, viola, cello, and bass pieces of ebony for making nuts it looks like and then in here I've got some quilted maple that were uh, body blanks you can see the outlining here from an old mark for a blank but um, anyway it looks like this wood is going to be incredible. Uh, pull out another piece here. There's another plank. You can see the figuring in that before it's even been sanded or anything. There's lots of figuring here. And you can see the layout lines that my uncle had put on here for this fiddle, what looks like fiddle back here. And another one here that looks like that's that's going to be real nice as well and what else we got here another one so I've got four of those some more ebony this piece here Beautiful, another beautiful piece of figured flamed maple. Some more ebony. Another piece of ebony. And an additional piece of ebony. So, I got all this from my uncle. Uh, by way of my cousin. My uncle is no longer doing this type of work. And my cousin saw all this wood and knew that I would be able to do something with it so here I have it and I think what I'm going to do today is try turning a small plate out of one of the pieces of figured um, maple. Hello and welcome to another quick episode of The Naked Turner. I'm out here today working on this piece of fiddleback maple that my cousin August was kind enough to send to me. He happened to find a bunch of this at my uncle Jen Lee's property and uh, sent me a few sticks of it as well as some ebony which I um, which I also uh, am doing an unboxing video on so I'll probably post the unboxing video as well anyway um, this piece of fiddleback maple which my uncle used to work on all kinds of fiddles in rest uh, in a restorative process of fiddles and violins and violas and basses and cellos and all kinds of stringed instruments um, so that's something that ran in the family. My father worked on guitars, he worked on cellos and other instruments, um, other stringed instruments. Anyway, my cousin found these pieces of fiddleback maple and thought, what better place to send them than on to the naked turner? So he checked with my uncle, and of course my uncle was like, yep, send them on to the naked turner. So I'm very, very pleased to have gotten some of this. I'm, uh, this hasn't, doesn't have any finish on it yet hasn't even been sanded and you can see how incredible it's going to be so I'm going to do some sanding and I'll put some finish on show you what it looks like and then I'll flip it around hollow it out and show you the end result all right so here's the bottom of this piece of fiddleback flamed fiddleback maple insane looking real nice all right I'm gonna flip it around hollow it out just kind of wanted to do a quick share on this one because it's turning out so nice all right here's the uh, figured maple plate finished and this piece is I think about seven uh, what was it seven and a quarter inches across 
very thin. Thanks for watching this quick little episode. Hope you enjoyed. And there it is. Finish flame quilted maple. There it is. All done. That is one insane piece of curly flamed fiddleback maple. There we go. Thanks for watching.